Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Portrait AI feature inside Wondershare for Mora. Now I've already launched a video previously about how to use this smart cutout feature to be able to separate the foreground from the background automatically, but that actually required setting up a mask. Now fortunately the Portrait AI feature is even easier to use, it's just a case of just switch it on and then let the AI do all the magic. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how that Portrait AI feature works with a demonstration. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to use the AI Portrait feature inside Wondershare Filmora. So I've just got a couple of test clips here, just dragged in some sort of random clips I've got lying on my machine just to demonstrate it. So I've got a clip um, on the top here where I'm just talking with some sort of background of a room in my house. And I've got another clip in the background which is some code. Now, what it would be nice to do if you're demonstrating some sort of something like this is I don't really want to have this distracting background all around me um, because, you know, we'd rather see the actual what's going on in the background rather than my ugly mug here. So what I really want to do is maybe just sort of shrink this guy right down into the corner so I can do something like that. But to maybe, you know, I do want it at a decent size, but even with that, it's still quite distracting um, with this background. So we can, of course, want to try and separate the foreground from the background. So this is a perfect example where we can use the AI portrait mode to do this. There is also another tool called the Smart Cutout feature, which I have already released a video on, which you can check in the playlist on Wondershare for more. And of course, a quick plug to my playlists. I've got maybe a 10 or 15 now videos in that playlist and it's ever growing. So make sure you check that out if you want to learn more about Wondershare for Mora. But anyway, so let's just talk about the what the actual portrait mode. So if we can actually select the clip here and then we find just underneath we have, or just above the smart cutout, we have the AI portrait. If we click on that guy, we can immediately see that it automatically removes the background for us really, really quick. So um, you, know, you may remember about the smart cutout, we had to do a mask, um, but this is very, very quick indeed. Just literally just switch that guy on and we are off and running. Now, if we can, of course, actually um, modify the, the edge and the feather if we wanted to, just by changing that. Um, but for, for most of my uh, particular, um, for this clip, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave it as is because I think it clearly demonstrates how uh, powerful this feature is because it's just literally one click and we are good. And if I just give it a few seconds just to play the video, you can see how effective it is uh, for removing the actual background. So that's how richly how easy it is to remove the backgrounds using the AI portrait inside Wondershare for Mora. Of course, if guys, you find this video useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, please, to help the channel, and also subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks about Wondershare for Mora. Take care, and I shall see you soon. Oh.